Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'll discuss uh, additional mathematics, IGCSE paper 2, variant 1, October, November 2010, question number 8. These questions are all about solving logarithmic and exponential equation or we can also have the idea that this is an equation about indices. Okay, so for the first question, since it's logarithm, remember LG means okay, logarithm in the base 10. Okay, logarithm, logarithm in the base 10. Okay, so it, it means LG 5x plus 10 is logarithm of 5x plus 10 in the base 10. Okay, there. So let's solve, let's try to solve number one. Okay, one thing that you need to understand, okay, about logarithm is I have, I need to have the concepts, basic concepts about loss of logarithm. Just like this part, okay, has, okay, if you are going to recall A or N, let's say N, n logarithm of a in the base b can also be written as logarithm of a to the power of n in the base b okay so this is one of the laws so i'll apply that with this one okay and also one one is equivalent to logarithm of a in the base a so if the a here is also the base, then it is equivalent to 1. Since the base is 10, so this should be LG 10. Okay? There. So let's apply that. It will become LG 5x plus 10. Okay? Plus LG 3 squared is 9. It's equal now to LG 10 plus LG 4X plus 12. Okay? Now that is one of the things that you should learn that since I have an N here, so that N is 2, 2 will become an index of the logarithm which is 3. 3 squared is 9. Then 1 is LG A in the base A, right? So it means since the base is 10, then A will be 10. That's why it is LG 10. Okay? Next. Logarithm also has what you call product rule. Logarithm of A in the base B plus logarithm of C in the base B can be equivalent to logarithm of A times C in the base B. Okay? Thus, I can say that I'll just basically multiply 5x plus 10 and 9, then make it as a single logarithm. So, these two are two logarithms. I'll make it as a single logarithm. I'll just basically multiply a and c. Okay? So, I have now logarithm of, okay, or LG, 9 times 5x, which is 45x. 9 times 10 is 90. Okay? The same thing with this. Since this is plus, I am adding two logarithms. I'll just basically multiply 10 and 4x plus 12. So, I have LG, okay, 40x, okay, 10 times 120 is 120. Uh, 10 times 12 is 120. Okay? Then, I can get rid of the logarithms. Okay, so I have now 45x plus 90 is equal to 40x plus 120. Okay, so 5x, why 5x? 45x minus 40x is equal to 5x. 120 minus 90 is 30. Thus, x is equal now to 30 divided by 5 is 6. So, the value of x 
in the first equation is 6. Okay? You will see the marking scheme later on. How did we get 4 marks? Of course, you will get 4 marks by applying all these rules. So if you don't, if you don't know your rules in logarithm, you cannot answer or solve an equation like this because rules are very important in solving the equations in logarithm okay so let's move on to question number two i'll just erase the answers for number one So, as I've said a while ago, for question number two, it's all about loss of indices. Okay? In solving exponential equations like this, okay, you have to make all the bases the same so that you can have, you can equate the exponents or the uh, indices. Okay? Make the one thing that you should, uh, your goal should be make the bases the same on the left side a single base on the right side should be a single base if the bases are the same already on left and right and they are all they are both single base then you can immediately get rid of that base okay so it should be okay this 9 3 3 and 27 are all bases and these bases are all connected with a common base which is 3 so I make the base of this one as 3 so 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 2y okay that's the first thing and just keep this 3 to the power of 7 minus y is equal to 3 to the power of 4y plus 3 okay I'll make the base of this one as 3 also. So it's 3 to the power of 3, okay, to the power of y minus 2. Okay, so if you notice, I'll have a base 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, but don't forget that I am having an index over here. This is index 2. This is index 3. Okay, there. Now, what is the principle or law of indices behind this two? Okay, remember that a power of n to the power of m is equivalent to a to the power of n times m. Okay, so I am multiplying the n with the m. So I will multiply 2 and 2y. So it's, it will become 3 to the power of 4y. Okay. 4y over 3 to the power of 7 minus y is equal now to 3 to the power of 4y plus 3 over 3 to the power of, remember it's 3 times the quantity of y minus 2. I said the quantity of y minus 2. So therefore, I'll multiply 3 to y and 3 to negative 2. Okay, common mistake is you don't distribute so please distribute 3 times y is 3y 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 okay next next principle or law of indices if i have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m so if you notice i have the same basis but different uh, indices what will i do is a to the power of n minus m okay so n minus m so i have that okay so they have the same basis okay the same basis okay what will happen here is i am going to subtract the indices okay and when you subtract be careful again with what you are doing okay i made it as a single index or exponential function okay so it will become 4y minus the quantity of 7 minus y so if you notice i put a bracket because this is one quantity 
7 minus y is 1 quantity. Okay, is equal now to 3 to the power of 4y plus 3 minus the quantity of 3y minus 6. So this is one of the common mistake of the students. They don't put a bracket anymore. Okay, you notice that it should be a one quantity, one quantity. So you should you should be putting brackets. Okay, so it will become get rid of the. Okay, we can now get rid of the indices. So I'll have four y minus seven plus y. Y minus seven plus y negative times positive is negative seven. Negative times negative is positive y. Next, I'll have 4y plus 3 minus 3y plus 6. Okay, 4y plus y is 5y. 5y minus 7 is equal now to 4y minus 3y is y. 3 plus 6 is 9. Okay, I'll move this y, subtract both sides by y, I'll have uh, 4y okay then I'll add both sides by 7 I'll have 16 so y is equal now to 4 okay finally you've got the answer y is equal to 4 for number 2 then you will get 3 marks you will see the marking scheme later on on how do you get 3 marks okay I hope you will you learn something from this video thank you for watching please don't forget to like this video if you have learned something and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe click that uh, bell button also so that you will be updated with our new lesson videos about IGCSE additional mathematics